bleeding deadly. Hey, you doing? Uh, welcome to Bleeding Deadly Toys. Today we're gonna try and unbox a video there for you. Today we're gonna have a uh, Shredder from NECA Toys from the 1990s movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm sure you've all seen it. One of my favourites. Uh, we had the Turtles before. This is the second wave. So we're gonna start with Shredder. Have a go and let us know what you think. Right, so let's start, uh, get stuck into this. Here we have the shredder. It's a pretty cool box. Here we have classic cloak. It's peeping out the peeping out the sewer. Side of your box. A couple of pictures of the actual figure. A little description there. Naked. They're doing really well with these uh, square boxes. They're a lot better than the old plastic ones you couldn't get into for ages. It's all your basic stuff. If anyone here is uh, old enough to remember VHS, like myself, that's the old VHS, that's where you got the picture from. There you go, a bit of nostalgia there for you, that's when these guys were around first. Right, we just get stuck into it. Handy thing to have, uh, small kids, don't try this at home, I always have this little scalpel, it's handy just to open up the plastic. Saves you messing around trying to chew it open with your teeth. I have a tendency to open it from the bottom. Just if you ever want to put it back in the box as well. You can just stick it back in. Right, let's have a look at this guy. First thing to notice there. Looks like this cape comes in the back separately, just in a plastic bag. So a bit of saddle tape on it. Just take that off. Nice little uh, sewer scene there. So anybody likes keeping your backgrounds, put on your shelf. Just leave it aside for now. Here we have your clamshell of the shredder. Pretty cool. Straight away, just looking off that. Has little kind of flakes of his little sparkly glitter. If you remember the movie, it's a really cool design for the suit. We'll get her open and we'll have a bit of a closer look at it. Now they don't use the cable tie things anymore, they use these little plastic tabs. But um, they're a handy little tool. Uh, it's a little tool kit, it's just little snips, pliers, a little sharp one, that's all you need. It just saves you a lot of messing about. Just snip it from the back. One. Two. Three. Mind your eyes, sometimes these things just... Like jumping all around the place. Anyway, now, especially with Neca toys, one thing I always do: all these little tabs that you see, probably a bit hard to see on the, the screen, but they basically have little tabs tucked in around, like the shoulder, the legs, stuff like that. It's basically to keep them in the bot in the the pack. So. If you don't want to break your figure, don't just yank him straight out because he will probably break. Just give him a little push. Just push the tabs in. It's a bit noisy. Oh, there you go. And then he should just slide straight out without any messing. I've had, heard a few people in the past with NECA. They tend to just reef the figures out of the box and they break. Oh, he's pretty cool actually. Yeah. Nice design there, the mask. You actually see the little grate and stuff. We hard to see on the camera, but he's very sparkly. Very cool. Before we have a look at the accessories, we'll just have a quick look at the shredder himself. The mask is really cool. Nice paint job on the silver. Nice and smooth. A little bit of flash on that one there. But sometimes you get that on figures, basically, from the moulds. You'll get a little piece or something like that just on the edge. Most of the time you can just use a little scalpel or something and just the side of the blade like that and just scrape it off. It'll be just pop it off if you don't go too mad. Don't scrape, don't cut it, but it's just from the mould. Pretty good range of movement now in the neck. There's blades there, shoulder pads. 
and most of these figures they do be very stiff when you open them first so I do tell people try not to pull it from the hand if you want to move the shoulder if you want to move the shoulder just hold them from just below the shoulder hold it beside it and just kind of move them up and down a few times just to loosen them it's just the plastic and the paint freshly out of the box they are very easy to break if you pull out like that now he has looks like he has the double elbow joints same again when you're bending it for the first time just give it a couple of movements that'll loosen it up there's the double elbow joints pretty cool on his blades all that up from this it's great likeness to the film all right same with the other side it's a bit stiff there before it's coming out of the box but move it a couple of times and it loosens up Double elbow joints again. He has a bit of wrist. He has movement in the gauntlets. You can spin them around. That's hand movements. The wrist movements is a bit restricted just because of the gauntlets. But I don't think you'd be moving them that much to be honest. Yeah, he has got waist movement. Left to right. Kind of on a swivel joint there. That's a soft plastic as well so it doesn't really restrict anything. The legs, same again, a bit stiff. Give them a little bit of movement just to loosen them up. Now, the legs, nice thick double joint on them as well. They're stiff there as well. Just be careful not to break them. Oh, the bit stiff. Now, I'm not going to force that too much. Sometimes you get them like this. If you get it like that and it doesn't move, don't over for it. If you can feel a bit of strain in the plastic, don't force it. If you force it, you'll break it. So a good tip I always do is you can get a, a pot of hot water, boil a kettle, put it in a hot, uh, just a basic pot, just sit them in it for a couple of minutes. You'll soften up the plastic. You won't break and put them in water. You won't damage the paint. Take them back out and that joint should move nice and smoothly, you won't break it, you know. Especially if you have a cold room, something like that. If you try force the, the joints like that, they will snap. So I'm not gonna force it in the video because I don't want to break it. So I'll do I'll actually I might put up a picture actually of the uh, the process. Just drop them in the water. Yeah, he has got a nice swivel on the ankle as well. No toy joints or no toe joints, but well, don't think we need that. I'll go to the other side, see if it's a bit looser. Yeah. There you go, same on that side. Joint is very stiff there. That's it. The top knee joint is okay. The second joint is a bit stiff. Maybe just the design of it. it looks very, very straight joint there now. It's a different joint, just there a bit lower, so we'll have to have a mess about with that now. Put it in the water and try to loosen it up a bit. I'm not going to force it too much now, but otherwise, pretty good movement on him. I said, Shredder just looks very menacing anyway, no matter what way you put him. You can just hear the voice of Rocco Saki in the background. Turtle's ready to kick his ass. Now, we'll have a look at the accessories, see what we get. So, we have a staff. If you remember, I've seen the movie from the fight scene at the end of the movie. I'm not going to tell you who wins. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Blade. Very small. You can see that one. That's the core for the blade. And then you get couple of sets of hands. So I imagine probably one for holding the staff. Yeah. So we have the left hand just for a bit of a gap there. Just for holding the staff. If you want to have a minute fighting. I also have close fist for the right hand. Same again. It's for holding the staff. There you go. 
Uh, we have two open hands also. A couple of spare hands there. I'm gonna try to swap them around. No. With the hands, same again. Uh, if you want to swap out the hands, should just pop off like so, and pop your own in like so. Very straightforward. There you go. Depends what pose you want to have them in. You want to have them doing the last final battle scene. Change it up. Pretty cool. Now we'll have a look at this cape. See what this is like now. There's no instructions in the box now just to show you how to put it on them, but I imagine it just drapes over them, like in the movie. It looks like something uh, you'd see on one of the WWE superstars or something like that, but seems to be a clasp and a hook on that side and a little clasp on that side. I imagine it just goes around his neck and clicks in like that. Let's see, can we do it? It's a nice thick material. Let's see, can we get it? This is probably going to be a bit fiddly. Bear with me. Let's see, try to get it around the neck. And then clip it in like that. I imagine that's the way it goes. There you go. Yeah, a little bit fiddly there, it might take you a minute or two, but there's actually wire in the cape as well, running all along. So you can bend it, pose it wherever way you want to pose it. If you remember this is one of the scenes in the middle of the movie. This is his cape where he comes out and giving a speech to the foot clan. Yeah. There you have it. Pretty cool though, all around. Uh, the only problem I can see there is the leg. I have a bit of problem with bending it, but as I said, that's kind of a general thing with Neckit. Uh, it's just basically the way they go into the boxes after they've been painted in the factory, so I'll uh, mess about with that. Try loosening it up a bit and hopefully put up some new pictures for you. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't boring enough for you. Uh, if you like it, click the like, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hopefully I'm going to get some more videos out here as soon as I can, more toys to play with, any suggestions you want to see just let me know.